Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this question on the community and this is related to reporting. I have been talking about uh, reporting quite a lot the, these days. Now this question is something that I think will help a lot of people and it's a simple question uh, or in fact I should say the answer is very simple. So the question is how or I should re probably read it properly. I'm trying to create a dashboard or a report to understand which are the defects I have sprint by sprint and I'm trying to split them under different technologies. So first of all, so we're talking about uh, bugs and breakup of bugs based on sprints and at the same time uh, splitting them by different technologies. So these technologies I believe is something that this user is managing using components or I, I guess it's a field in Jira, right? So let us assume it is the components. And what you can do is, and by the way, this particular question has been asked for cloud and uh, dashboard report. So I'm assuming there is no app involved. So we'll try to do it using native app. So what we'll do, we'll probably create uh, or maybe just take a look at uh, one of the dashboard that I have. So whenever you are doing something like this, where you have to work on, or basically you want to understand uh, things uh, based on multiple fields, you can always create a two dimensional filter. Now, this is the default dashboard. And here you can see I have a two dimensional filter, which by the way, you can add uh, very easily. If you go to your, uh, your uh, add a gadget option on the on the right, right hand side, just search for uh, two dimensional filter. And uh, the native reporting capabilities in Jira is not bad. I mean, you need to, I mean, these reports, these dashboard, the, the, these gadgets are not dynamic, uh, like what you can do in ECBI, but uh, you can actually use a couple of these gadgets to get the same information. It is of course not like uh, a report that you can change on the fly, but it is still quite good. So what I'll do, I'll show you uh, this two dimensional filter where you can use the filter, uh, which is the input. So I'm using this filter called all. All basically means, I mean, in my case, that I have all the issues in my Jira instance. Now you have the option here to use uh, various fields in X or Y axis. Now we are talking about sprint based report. So you can actually select here sprint and uh, you can uh, then not urgency, come on, sprint. And uh, the other thing was, I believe, uh, technology or maybe bugs. So because we are only talking about bugs, I believe the input could be a filter where you're just using JQL to filter on bugs. So that is one option. But uh, if you have components in your uh, Jira project where you're using components for technology or it is basically any kind of any any kind of field, you can actually create a two dimensional filter. Now this two dimensional filter is now showing me the issues breakup of the issues based on these components and based on these sprints and you can see here that this is, is actually showing me quite a lot of information and of course we are to look, looking at all the sprints across all the projects but uh, if you're doing it for a specific project or a specific issue type you will see the sprint name and at the same time uh, uh, component names and uh, the actual count and the good thing is that if you click on this particular uh, or any number here it will actually take you to the to the actual uh, list of issues where you can do whatever you want to do it whatever you want to do with with, the, with with those issues it could be just the sprint number that we were looking at but uh, the thing is that although these reports are not dynamic uh, but if you're not really using any app or you don't want to use an app these uh, reports are actually quite good for example uh, i'm also looking at uh, i mean because we have to rely on multiple gadgets to get the information. For example, you can create one, uh, one two-dimensional filter along with a breakup of these issues by maybe, maybe status, for example. And uh, this particular uh, gadget here, which is the issue statistics gadget, it will also show you a percentage. So you need to rely on a couple of these gadgets to get the information or to basically analyze the, the data. 
but uh, if you're doing something with two fields then use a two dimensional filter and i thought i'll probably talk about it because these days a lot of people when they start using jira cloud they want to know how can we analyze the data what can i do to get this information and uh, the native jira capabilities although are limited but they're not bad <laughs> and, and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye